Lord, I want to know you better than they know me. Teach me, Lord, to know your way, to know your truth. and how the person talks and how the person sings. How did we get here? I thought worship was to be to him alone and not a man. So why should we worship to exalt the echo of men? Why? Read me out the prayer of this world so that I can see you clearly. Teach me, Lord, to know The greatest apostle in the Bible, Paul said, that I may know you in the power of your resurrection. Not that I may drive the best cars. Not that I may sit in front seats. Not that I may have the big, biggest church. Not that I may wear the best of suits. That I may know you in the power, in the power, the efficacy, a kepa, a Chips are being infused in the arms of people. Things are happening. We cannot keep shots. You will seek him in truth and in spirit. Wherever you are, in one minute, can you begin to pray in other tongues? Please pray in other tongues. We must win this nation for Jesus. We cannot win the nation by shutting up. We have to roar like lions that we are. Second part. House on the rock Abuja. House of refuge. Can you begin to open up your mouth and begin to lambano? Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. I wish I can hear you. Yes, yes, yes. Bring me out the pride of this world so that I 
us to know you better. Help us to realize that why we are here is beyond songs and sounds. What about you? In one minute's house on the road, can you lift up your hands? Can you lift up your hands and your voice? And tell him one more time, I want to know you. Don't be distracted by the sound. Just say, I want to know you. than tithe and offering. Knowing Jesus is more than tithe and offering. It's more than the building and the size. It's about your heart and a connection to him. Can you open up your mouth? Please, I beg of you, brethren. Tell him this. If this is all we do today, this is the best part of it. It's about kingdom and not anybody. It's about the kingdom of God. It's about Jesus. Wherever you are, lift up your voice and begin to talk to him. Talk to him. 
a broken and a cold child heart, he will not look down on you. Oh, I thank God for those who are praying. I thank God for those who are praying. The presence of God is so strong in this place. Two more is leaving somebody right now. Two more just left somebody right now. The power of God is so strong. Whenever you have been connected, there's something God wants to do in this environment right now. Shake it, Bella. See a Bella. Two more just left. Two more just left. Deaths are being cleared. Deaths are being cleared. Because you're seeking now, He will handle that matter for you. my secrets you know my weakness teach me we may pretend in the presence of men teach me teach me
When a child wants to welcome the daddy, you open your hands like this. We embrace him. This is not lip service. We mean it. I am your ruler. Forever. I am your ruler. Sickness has no place in me. So all my life you have been faithful All my life you have been so, so good In every breath that I am in I will sing of the good In all my life, oh, all my life, you have been And the people of God say, yeah. All my life, you have been so, so good. In every breath that I am I sing, oh. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails. All my days have been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up and see the Yeah, I know. So I can 
see him moving in my desire. I can see him doing plenty miracles. I can see. to Jesus, the author and finisher of my faith. And when I seek after him, everything I've been chasing for 20 years will come looking for me. Why? Because he has given me the seed power. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 55 verse 5, you will call nations you do not know, and nations that do not know you will run to you. Why? Because the Holy One of Israel has glorified you. Scripture being played out. When you seek him, he, seeking him is a magnet. So I'll put you in front, in front of my bed. You are all. Do you mean what you're singing? I'll make you. Let me see your hands like this. What would I live for if I don't have you in my life? What would I if you take the Holy Ghost? Everybody shout it. What would I 
Help me to make room for only two, just you and I, Jesus, you are all that makes sense to me. Let me tell you something, philosophy will fade away, biology will fade away, physics will fade away. Only Jesus will stand true If Jesus is by your side Forget about what men say He's all that matters Just like my boss was saying, he said During the COVID, you could not drive your car In fact, you were homesick because you were just in the house alone You could not go to work you could not busy anybody's call because we are busy. You see that nothing else matters again. So the things we are chasing after cannot be compared to what Jesus gives. The platforms we are chasing after cannot be compared to what only Jesus can give. He truly is all that makes sense. The Bible says heaven and earth will pass away. All the things we are boasting about, all the things we brag about, we pass away. He's the only one that stands. And when, when your work has been tried with fire, what will stand? Is the assurance of Jesus in you that stands. Yes. When that situation tries you, for 10 years you are not giving birth. 20 years with that issue is the hope of glory in Christ Jesus that keeps you. <laughs> the Bible says Christ in you, sir, the hope. In the book of Revelation chapter 3, he says, I have opened the door that no man can shut. He said, because I have seen that you have but little strength and you have not denied his name. But he said, watch me as I trample on your enemies because you have kept my word. Am I in church here now? Nothing else matters. You are all that matters. You are all. 
Is it the house or is it the car? I'll give the most. Is it the names? Is it the fame? you want to do just to, can you tell him right now for a long time father I've forgotten that you are you matter in my life wherever you are can you be broken for him right now say I'm sorry I've been carried away can you talk to him some of you right now you are rededicating your life to him some of you you are rekindling that covenant back to him I thank God for those who are worshiping right now. People are crying because they understand that this God we are talking about is not a man. Can you be broken for him? It doesn't take anything to be broken for him. If this world ends now, what will you be boasting about? If this world ends now, sir, ma, what will you be boasting about? It will not matter who is a small boy or who is a big boy. Can you talk to him now? I've told you, his favorite song is your life, not a worship song. Talk to him. Nobody's too big for him. There is no ogre in God's house. There is no superstar. Nothing else matters. The oldest of us is still a baby in his hands. Can you be broken for him? Without a song, just pray in other tongues. Just talk to him. Oh, I love House on the Rock. I love you guys so much. You understand why you're here? The power of God is on somebody right now. There's an unction coming upon a lady right now. The power of God is so strong, so strong in this place. Cancer just left somebody right now. Yes, yes. We are not joking here. Cancer just left somebody now. Migraine just left. Migraine just left. The power of God, God is moving right now. The Holy Ghost is moving. Just don't, 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 distract, yourself. don't distract yourself. Moving so smoothly. Healing the sick. Raising dead spiritual lives. Something is happening in this atmosphere. Don't joke with it. Don't joke with it. Don't joke with it. Now Holy Ghost, begin to touch them one by one. Touch them, touch them. Touch that lady, touch that man. Touch them, touch them. Touch them, show them a path. A part in you that no money can show them. Don't be carried away. Shaka. Lepe kopra ikata. Sheke paraba. An apostolic grace is coming upon somebody right now. A mantle of the prophetic is coming upon somebody right now. Sheke pa. Sheke pa. There's a launching. There's a launching. Sheke pa. Kara. Kara pa koka. Sheke te. Sopenda. Sapa. Who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? Much less love and beauty and less faith. Nothing in this world can satisfy. Jesus, you're the cup 
Your prayer life has, has gone down. Can you come forward and just kneel in front of this place? You want a rekindling of God's power and fire. Pastor's going to pray for us. Wherever you are, can you come out? If you're sick in your body, can you come and just kneel in front of the altar? Can we be fast and just do that? Because God is in for something here. If you're sick in your body, if your prayer life, your spiritual life, you know, you'll be struggling with something. This is called worship experience, not entertainment experience. Just come and kneel before your father's altar. Oh, Most of you want to rededicate your life, just come. Oh, this is the gospel. You come just open up your mouth and begin to talk to you. Just talk to us. Just come and kneel, just talk to him. Open up your mouth and talk to him. So our pastor is going to pray for us. Your prayers. Please talk to him wherever you are. Just talk to him. Get your life to God, just come. I love that song for my sister. You look past my sin, my guilt, my shame, and poor joy. You look beyond me. You look beyond me. You look past my sin, my shame, my guilt, and poor joy. Baba, you look beyond me. I'm the one you have shown us. You have shown us. You look on mercy. Lord, I'm the one. I'm the one you have shown us. Oh. I lost my father and my mother some years ago. And I was stranded. As a young man living in Port Harcourt, I was stranded. I didn't have any uncle, any auntie that had money somewhere. I only had Jesus. If you have Jesus, you have more than anything in the world. Forget the size of this man here. It's not about small boy leading you to worship. It's about understanding that God has brought a system to lead you to worship. And you need to understand that. 
This is the end time. And if you don't know Jesus, you will struggle, sir. Ma, you will struggle. You will struggle for visibility. You will struggle for platform. If you don't know Jesus experientially, you will struggle. You may not like what I'm saying, but this is the truth. Getting to know Jesus will chase every issue in your life away. That's the most important thing. That is why we organized worship experience. So you can experience it in truth and in spirit. Truth means you are doing it. Spirit means you are sincere. Yes. I'm the one that you have shown us. You have shown us. You look beyond me. You Lord, I'm the one. I'm the one. You have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. So you are the lion and the lamb. The word of the Father. Forever you The sin. You are the lion and the lamb, the very word of the Father. Forever. Wherever you are sick in your body, just put your hands there. If there is something that made you come out, just begin to talk to him right now. Please don't look at me. Just focus on him. The Bible says, looking unto Jesus. Can you just focus on him before pastor comes up to pray for us? Wherever you are, if you're sick in your body, just know that as you're standing up, you will not go back home with that sickness. That is why it is worship experience. I bet you, you cannot go back home with that sickness. I want you to pray fervently. I don't know why you came here. Yes, I thank God for those who are praying. Talk to him. Before our amazing man of God comes up to pray for us. Keep praying in the Holy Ghost. Keep praying in the Holy Ghost. This is the reason why you came here. Talk to your father. 